I think the Balfour Declaration that you supported more than 100 years ago, you have to think about it and you have to think how to correct this and support the right of the Palestinians. We have a right to be in this land. This is our land and we have the right to be free and we have, uh, we have the right uh, to live in peace in our land. This is our right to self-determination and you have to correct what you did more than 100 years ago. We are human beings and le not less human being than any other nation on this earth. We deserve freedom and we will continue our struggle for freedom. And you have to respect the millions of British people who protest supporting the rights of the Palestinians. I think it's important to bring the voices of the British people to the official position of, uh, of the British government and to support the Palestinians. We have the right to live free on our land. I mean, if I wanted to be honest and frank, um, what I discover, I myself, like, you know, um, as, as a diplomat, as a politician, I could see that how the United States, they support Israel in this war how the United States not only support, they participate in this war. They were administrate this war against the Palestinians. And that makes us like feel, um, if you want to help the Palestinians, you have to talk to the Americans, unfortunately. You have to realize that the Palestinian people are really strong and they will never give up their rights for freedom and their rights for self-determinations and the right not to be forced displaced. We we still believe that we have a right in this land and we have the right to self-determination and we will never accept to be forced, forcibly displaced and we will not repeat the 48 Nakba again. Yes, 23 Nakba, but we will not be moving from our land. This is our land and our aspiration for freedom should be respected. Our aspiration for uh, for freedom to be in our state of Palestine should be respected. We have the right to self-determination and we have the right to be a free state. How the international community failed us and you allow this, uh, this atrocities, this killing of innocent people without even putting any effort, practical effort, let me say, practical effort to stop this war I think the international community failed us and humanity itself failed us.